Welcome to Radiology Made Easy. Today, we are reviewing selected ultrasound images of the neck, focusing on an abnormality observed in the anterior midline of the suprahyoid region. The identified abnormality is a complex ovoid mass, predominantly of low reflectivity, measuring up to 22 millimeters in diameter. This mass exhibits posterior acoustic enhancement, a common feature in cystic structures. Importantly, the Doppler images show no internal flow, indicating the lesion's non-vascular nature. The area of the thyroid visible in these images, particularly the isthmus, appears normal. This finding is crucial in differentiating potential pathologies. The described characteristics are consistent with a midline cystic lesion in the suprahyoid neck region. The most common cause of such a midline cystic mass in this location is a thyroglossal duct cyst. The internal complexity observed raises the possibility of infection, which is an important consideration for clinical management. Given these findings, it's advisable to discuss the case with the referring clinicians. If the diagnosis does not align with the clinical presentation, or if there is any concern regarding possible malignant transformation, further evaluation with MRI may be appropriate. Now, let's explore some key points in differential diagnoses when encountering a lump in the neck. 1. Midline versus lateral masses. Thyroglossal duct cysts typically lie in the midline, whereas other cystic structures, such as branchial cleft cysts or laryngocele, are usually lateral. Ectopic or accessory thyroid tissue may also appear in the midline, making it essential to ensure the thyroid is in its normal anatomical position. 2. Solid versus cystic masses. Consider whether the mass is solid or cystic. Solid masses are more likely to be neoplastic, such as a necrotic small cell carcinoma, while cystic masses are often congenital, like branchial cleft cysts or cystic lymphangioma. 3. Age consideration. The age of the patient plays a significant role. For example, cystic lymphangiomas are more common in neonates, while branchial cleft cysts and thyroglossal duct cysts usually present in children and young adults. In older adults, any new neck lump should be evaluated carefully for possible neoplastic disease. To further clarify, a thyroglossal duct cyst usually presents as a painless midline or paramedian mass, often noticeable in the infrahyoid neck, and may elevate when the patient protrudes the tongue. These cysts are typically around 2 centimeters in size, and while they are generally benign, they can become infected or, in rare cases, undergo malignant transformation. Thank you for watching Radiology Made Easy. Remember, every image tells a story, and we're here to help you decode it. Please share your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below. See you next time.